Here's one key step to identifying a maple tree. It's called opposite branching. And you can see on this dead branch that we found on the maple tree we have in our backyard, we have the main tree branch and then the two limbs or twigs are opposite one another. In an alternate situation, you'd have one tree branch here and maybe another one here. Opposite branching occurs on maple trees, including the sugar maple, the silver maple, the red maple, the black maple. It also takes place on the box elder tree. This is the bark of a silver maple. You can see it's pretty rough, um, kind of a dark brown or um, grayish color. And you'll find that uh, each tree has its own different characteristics. Well, you can see here's the tree trunk from a box elder, and you can see the bark is much tighter than it was on the silver maple we have. And now here again is the opposite branching. You can see right here, a couple of different opposite tree limbs here, there, the twigs, the branching are all in opposite directions. So believe it or not, a lot of people do tap the box elder, especially uh, out in the western provinces of Canada, and they actually call it the Manitoba maple. So yes, and I've uh, created my own box elder syrup. It does taste a lot like maple syrup. However, it will take 60 to 80 gallons of box elder to make one gallon of syrup. So it's a lot longer process, but it does produce good quality syrup. Sugar maple twigs are very slender, less than a quarter inch in diameter. Sugar maple twigs are also brown, the bark, although less easily described, has pinkish gray flakes. If all this is confusing, identifying the tree in summer is much easier. Of course, if the trees are in your backyard, you probably already know it's a maple. Another way to identify the maple tree is if you can find the leaf. However, keep in mind that during the fall, leaves can be blown around from tree to tree and in different locations. So this isn't always the surest way to, to find whether or not you have a maple tree.